In business tonight, government has been urged to decisively deal with issues that deepen the gender divide by appropriating more money to projects that benefit women. This was during the policy dialogue on financing for gender equality and development that saw organizations like UN Women, CISBAG, Global Spotlight, among others, contribute to the discussion. In a dialogue meeting held at Sheraton Kampala Hotel, Organizations led by the United Nations Women held a policy dialogue on financing for gender equality and development in order to close the gender divide. The organizations urged the government to carry this course as it will be one of the means to deal with the ever-increasing gender inequality. MDS should commit to redressing imbalances which exist through uh, allocation of financial resources to specific measures as provided for in the Public Finance Management Act. As Parliament, we cannot generate the budget. It is the role of the executive. Our work as Parliament is to scrutinize those budgets and ensure that they conform with the requirements, for instance, the gender certificate, which is compliance, which is a must. Culture and norms were cited as some of the practices that have favored men in Uganda, leaving many women behind. If tools and resources are put in the hands of women to support uh, their uh, uh, domestic work and, and care responsibilities, we would be able to get uh, better gains for uh, the resources. Women and girls' education has been phenomenal and should provide a strong foundation for gender equality and women's empowerment. We'll do better with more resources allocated to the priority areas, but when justice is also at the center of our hearts. Technology and innovation was highlighted as another sector that would benefit women as long as they too are considered as innovators and not just consumers. There is a lot that has to do with uh, the provision of ICT in ensuring the advancement of women and girls uh, um, in, in, in every sphere of life. You find that there are times in the day that the woman is out there tilling that she will not have access to that phone and therefore will not read that SMS. The dialogue closed with a call for collaboration and partnerships across the economic sector players in order to bridge gender inequalities. Dana Nsabagasani, Chiberu Siraj, NBS, Live at 9.